I'm Asmita Dabral. Welcome to Narayana Educational Institutions. They say the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And today, I have the privilege of introducing someone who truly embodies this belief through his incredible achievements. I have with me Bani Brata Maji, who has achieved a dream score of 300 out of 300 in J Main 2025 Session 1. First of all, huge congratulations to you, Bunny. For those of you who don't know, he's also bagged the silver medal for India in International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics. So, Bunny, truly this year has been a year for you. What do you have to say to that? Yeah, I'm very happy. Did you expect this sort of a result, first of all? Yeah, like I did hard work for it. So, I expected good results, but this is amazing. But before we dive into your journey, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your family? Yeah, so basically my native place is in West Bengal, but I've been staying in Hyderabad since I was a child. Like education, schooling, everything I've done here. And uh, I live with my parents and sister. My sister, she's currently preparing for NEET. And my father is a government employee and mother is a teacher. All right, glad to know that. So uh, when you shared this good news with your family, what was their reaction like? like all of them were very happy. They congratulated me multiple times. So right. I was also very happy. Glad to hear that and to get a little bit insight into your life and family. Uh, on that note, Bunny, uh, what was your reaction when you actually looked at the result? So the response sheet comes before. So I was expecting good results after the exam. But after officially confirming 300 after 300, I was very happy when I saw the results officially. Right. So if you can share a little bit about your childhood, right? How was your childhood like? Were you always this studious or, you know, eventually is when you evolved into being a studious personality? Like since my childhood, I enjoyed studying maths and science. Like I was fascinated by them. But I also played outdoor games. I used to love, I love playing football, cricket, etc. So when did you first decide that you actually want to pursue something like J.E. Main? Since 6th grade, I've been learning coding and stuff. And it was in 8th grade when I actually decided I will choose J.E. as a career. Uh, how did you approach this entire preparation journey of yours? You know, what was something that you kept in mind during your early phase of preparation? Since 8th grade, since I wanted to prepare for J.E., I first targeted Olympiads. I first targeted Junior Science Olympiad. And I was also interested in biology also. And uh, after that, as I went to 10th grade, I actually started focusing completely on JE. Okay, so basically, in a way, you preparing for Olympiads did eventually lead to you having a stronger base or foundation, if I yeah. may say so. Yeah, it helped me clear the concepts in the beginning and have a good foundation for JE. So speaking of Olympiads and speaking about JE main, how do you think Narayana has actually aided you in this entire preparation process? So like the teachers are amazing. They teach only what you need to know and not much of excess information. Main benefit is because of the intensive practice. Like because of the amount of practice, when you solve a question, you don't need to think much. It involuntarily comes that what you need to do to approach the question further and to solve it easily. Talking a little bit more about the strategies, how do you think has, uh, you know, micro schedule and error analysis of Narayana actually helped you? So after writing exam, we make some errors. So they immediately give us error analysis. We write out why did we do those errors. And then we sit with teachers who discuss one to one with us that how to avoid those errors. And they give parallel questions so that we get more clarity on that specific concept and specific subtopic. So while you were preparing Bunny, I'm sure there must be many other fellow aspirants who were equally preparing along with you. So how did that sort of an environment motivate you and encourage you to, uh, you know, prepare for JE main? Also, what kind of collaboration happened when you were actually preparing with everyone around? So like when you get the results, when you see like your friends doing a question in a better way or like getting more score in subject, you get motivated and inspired that in the next exam, you will try to beat them or at least get score equal to them. And also you can discuss problems and you will find many new ideas and many new ways to solve them easily in, in shorter duration of time. Right. So that's sort of a reflection or getting a sneak peek as to what is somebody else's strategy actually helps you and helps you build on how you can improve your preparation. Right. So coming to subjects, uh, what did you think was very challenging for you? Was it physics, chemistry or mathematics? What is something that you found challenging and how did you tackle it? 
for me chemistry was the most challenging especially the inorganic part because i tend to forget things to overcome that i created i made short notes and repeated revision helped me overcome that problem so that i can retain the concepts of inorganic for longer time wow and uh, majorly i hear many people struggling with physics and mathematics but here looks like our champion here is struggling a little with chemistry but clearly that also wasn't a challenge for you because you've got a perfect score of 300 out of 300 uh but moving to study materials right because we understand how important study materials and reference books are how did they help you in your preparation and what are the kind of study materials that you actually looked at so i have been following nayana module which is like very helpful since it contains almost every model of question and also gives you a lot of practice to for the exams and all and especially i used the nlearn platform for writing tests and uh, the interface for the nlearn test writing is almost similar to jee mains and advance so it's like really helpful it gives you a feel of how the final exam is going to be right so talking about mock tests you know many students in general think that okay i'll just attempt one or two practice tests and mock tests and that should be sufficient but how crucial do you think mock tests play a role and how important they are like i think mock tests play a very important role because especially they help in time management and developing your accuracy also it helps like how will you solve a question when there's more pressure like let's say you have less time left still you have some more questions to do so how you'll handle that and how to maximize your score so i think the more number of tests you practice the better it is for you so try to get as much practice as possible right and it will also help them balance with their time and see which section uh you know they're struggling with or taking lot of time and that way they can balance their time in the main paper now we know how challenging and difficult these exams can be right and it can get very stressful and people get very anxious also while preparing for it so what are certain things that you did to de-stress yourself were there any hobbies that you indulged in like when i feel lot, very much stressed i just come out of the room and take some fresh air however specifically speaking of hobbies i like to play chess it helps me reduce stress and also helps me keep motivated while preparation of course there'll be high days there will be low days some days you just feel like you can't do it you know this is not your cup of tea so clearly looks like chess was the way you motivated yourself but was there something else like your family support or your friends pushing you throughout was there something else which also kept you motivated yeah like friends and teachers constantly keep a track of you that whether you are a bit low or you are not completely in the right mindset and they like try their best to push you so that you can get motivated what was your initial reaction like were you nervous or were you confident that you know i'll be able to ace it i was a little bit nervous about one or two questions because usually one or two questions comes which are a bit ambiguous and not that straight forward but however as soon as i started the exam like i didn't have any much feelings i started with physics and i went on solving question as they came right so do you have this personalized strategy of yours that you will actually begin with physics chemistry or mathematics like is there a game plan behind that like why you opted for physics yeah like generally i start with physics then chemistry and maths so i start with physics because i think it's my strongest subject so it will so i won't get pressurized in starting of the exam even if the paper comes hard and then i go for chemistry and finally i end with maths so that i can give as much time it needs to solve the question right so your strategy is to begin with the area that you're most strong in and then eventually uh, go and proceed with the sections that you're not that very comfortable and you might be able to dedicate more amount of time there uh right when the exam date is near right bunny many students struggle with like what do we prepare and what do we touch on and what do we skip in the last week of preparation so what are your tips like what is something that the aspirants should focus on in the last week of preparation so in the last week i mostly uh, focused on the areas which i was weak so i repeatedly revised that however i would suggest not to study anything new during the last week just you know go over the things which you think you might forget and uh, practice as much as possible to gain confidence for the final exam right so do you feel that last minute revision is actually very very important so like you mentioned you focused on your weakness uh, in the last week uh, but when you're also revising should you also go back and revise the concepts that you're thorough with or 
uh, the entire focus should be on the weaker areas like if you are completely thorough in a in a some topic you don't need to revise them however if you feel like you will might forget something or something which is very much important for the exam you should revise them so now that uh, je main is done and dusted how are you planning to switch gears for je advance what are certain strategies that you are looking to follow are you going to stick with your routine and uh, uh, stick with the same uh, strategies or are you planning to change them here and there like i am trying to make some minor changes but i don't think i will make any major change for the strategies for preparing for je advance and i think it can stay the same because it clearly has worked out for you in je main so even if you stick with the same strategies for je advance i'm sure and hopeful that you will get a bright result right uh, so coming to your final question if you have to share some tips with fellow aspirants you know about je main what would that be so i would suggest fellow aspirants to focus mainly on time management since it comes very helpful during the final exam and also try to minimize as much errors you can because accuracy is much more important you shouldn't miss any question which you know that will help you a lot for the final exams so all the aspirants out there you just heard bunny share his strategies you know just stick to it stick to the basics and you will be able to ace your je main preparation congratulations once again bunny thank you for joining us and we are wishing you all the very best for your je advance preparations your achievement i'm sure is going to inspire everyone out there to actually pursue their dreams because at narayana your dreams are our dreams thank you Thank <music> you.